Hey there do-it-yourself technicians. Today we're going to look at the screen repair of a fairly new laptop, the HP 15S-EQ1048AU and similar laptops. The story started sadly. The laptop was dropped. It might have fallen out of a locker or it might have slipped out of hands. Whatever happened, it was clearly broken. The front corner of the laptop had taken a serious blow. The screen was smashed and the front corner of the palm rest had big chunks missing and was all broken up. It's tragic, but it does happen. Let's work on a solution. We need a new screen. In my experience, just getting the laptop model is often not enough. Within a given model, there might be several different screen options and some have different connectors. We want to make sure we get the right screen. I started by removing the front screen surround called the bezel. This was actually pretty easy as it was broken in the middle and I could just work my way around with a pry tool, popping it away from the holding clips and adhesive tape. The bottom edge is a bit deeper and you have to work your way along the edge of the silver panel as well. Once that was off, I hit the big snag. Usually there are four screws holding the LCD panel to the frame. In this laptop, there are just the two at the top. And on closer inspection, they're just holding the frame to the outer casing. The screen itself is actually held in by two rubber adhesive strips, one down either side of the screen. The good news is that somebody had some forethought that these might need to be repaired one day. So the adhesive strips stick up over the top of the screen. So you can grab it and stretch it out to separate the two. But you have to be careful because you don't want it to snap like that. Okay, so I moved on to the other side. Sorry about my elbow in the way. It's hard to record, see and work at the same time. This time slowly does it. Holding the laptop down and pulling up and up and up. Then grabbing it further down and pulling it up and up and up again. The adhesive itself is actually quite strong, but has a lot of linear give, so that when you stretch it out, it loses its stickiness. It's a little bit like those 3M hooks that you stick on a wall. And then when you're finished with them, you pull the tab down and they come off the wall cleanly. They're really strong adhesive stuck to the wall. But when you pull down on the tab, they stretch out and come off cleanly and hopefully without any mess. The process in this case is the same, but fully stretched down, this piece would be three to four times the height of the screen. I also inserted a spudger to prise the screen away from the backing to make it a little easier until it finally all released and the screen came away. And then the rubber adhesive shrinks back to its normal size and regains its stickiness. I don't recommend you let it stick to itself and try and keep it to reapply on the new screen if possible. Now I was able to pivot the screen partly out of the way and try and see through to the first piece on the right hand side that I'd snapped. Now, to be honest, the screen is already broken, so I could have been a lot less gentle. But what you don't want to do is in any way bend the outer shell of the laptop. That could make life really, really difficult. In the end, I was able to grab it with a sharp pair of tweezers and pull and pull it until it came all the way out as well. Now we have the screen out and we can actually check the part number of the screen itself and find one to replace it. I have some suppliers that I trust, but you can also use eBay. Here is the correct screen for this replacement on eBay. I ordered it and put the laptop aside for a few days until it arrived. Now that the screen was in, I removed the two layers of tape that cover the connector and hold it in. I unplugged the display cable and removed the broken screen. I plugged in the new screen and tested it to make sure it was all working. Next, I laid out the adhesive strip to secure the screen back on. Because some of it had been damaged, I had to trim it and ended up with two longer strips down from the top and two smaller strips that went up from the bottom, each poking out a generous bit so that if there had to be another screen replacement later, it wouldn't be too difficult. To make sure it stayed in place, I did put another tiny strip of adhesive all the way along as well, just as a backup. You don't want the screen popping out. I then lined the screen up and pushed it back into place. I also closed the lid and applied some pressure from the top to make sure it was well and truly stuck. Time for another test to make sure it's all still working. Next, I added some tape all the way around the edge of the bezel 
and then removed its backing. I then tucked it into the silver cover at the bottom and prepared to snap it all back into place. Before doing that, I removed the protective film from the front of the screen. Then I snapped the bezel into place all the way around, doing my best to make sure it all lined up, stayed in place, and stayed connected, even where it had broken at the top. Screen replacement done and tested again. Now it was time to turn my attention to the palm rest. It's not an important piece of the functioning of the laptop, but at the moment it had a bit that was likely to break off and it would also stick you with a fairly sharp point when you grab that part of the laptop. And there's also a hole there, so it's gonna let in who knows what if you leave it open. That part will also help protect the screen if it gets another knock on that corner. So it had to go back together as best I could. I mean, this laptop had seen better days already, but I wanted it to be neat and safe. First, I pulled the bit that had been bent in almost back into position and then glued it in with this great little tube of glue that I have and use for this sort of device. It has the tiny little metal nozzle so I can put it on really accurately and then also has a pin in the cap so that when I slide it back home, it seals up beautifully for next time. After this, I prepared some Gorilla two-part epoxy and started to fill the hole. I soon realized, A, it wasn't gonna sit in there very well and I'd have to use a heck of a lot, and B, that it would glue the palm rest and the base together very, very permanently, so you'd never get the laptop apart. So I tipped out the epoxy, leaving it with a nice sealing coat on the bottom and left it to dry. Now it was time for plan B, normal hot glue. I like this because it sticks pretty well but if you ever need to get it out, you can get it out. I started with a layer of sticky tape to try and create the shape and then filled it with glue as well as I could. The final stage was to trim off the excess with a sharp knife. This left me with a corner that was fully functional, will again protect the corner of the screen and not dig into the user's arm when they're typing. A little bit of silver paint might have really capped the look off but matching silver can be hard and I didn't want to waste a heap of time because this wasn't a really expensive laptop and I was trying to keep costs down for the customer. It's not perfect, but if you wanted perfect, you'd buy a new palm rest and a new bottom case and spend nearly as much as you would for a whole new laptop. Pretty, maybe not. Serviceable, yes. Happy customer, I hope so. Hopefully it will be a happy ending for this laptop. Question of the day, would you be up for the challenge? Let me know if you've ever attempted a screen replacement and let me know what you think of my palm rest repair. Good enough or not? Leave a comment in the comments down below and if you found this video was useful, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician. Learn about the technology, protect yourself from the bad guys and fix it when it breaks. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's some older episodes you may not have seen before, here and here. And you can subscribe to the channel by clicking down here, or subscribe to our mailing list by clicking up here. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye.